Pavel, your musical talent wasn't discovered by your family, but it was discovered by a commission that came to your school to examine the children. Tell me exactly what happened. It was very funny, really, because I was in kindergarten, and some commission of four women came and began to check my ear. And they found my ears rather good, <laughs> rather good for musical education, and then advised to my mother to prepare documents to, you understand. And I began when I was six. It was uh, very suddenly, you understand, I have no parents, musician. My mother is a doctor, my father is a worker, and uh, no. Though everybody in my family has a musical ear, you understand, it was quite a surprise for everybody when I was taken in the Central Musical School, because it was the first competition in my life, and very difficult one. I think because there were more than 100 uh, competitors and they took only 15 and uh, you understand I had to compete with uh, another another ch children which were children of musical musicians and they knew something already on the piano and I did uh, I knew almost nothing it was very difficult they only checked and they found that I have memory you understand re a sense of reason or and they took me like a candidate and I don't regret, I never regret about it. Well, after you had gone into the Central Musical School, where did you go after that? What studies did you have after that? I graduated from the school with gold medal. It was <laughs> another thing, very strange. And then I entered the Moscow Conservatory because it, it was only one way. If you finish school of Moscow Conservatory, you go to Moscow Conservatory. I, um, I was very happy to to be in class with my professor, Professor Daryansky. He's now a member of the jury, you know. Is yes. it difficult to play when your professor is on the jury? <laughs> it's difficult, because I know that he is very nervous in this moment. And uh, once, during another competition, when he was a member of the jury, I saw him taking pills against heart attack. <laughs> it was very nervous. It made me nervous very much, you understand. And you know, he, um, he has no right to vote for me. That's why he, he can do only to be nervous, only, <laughs> not to, to help me or, you understand. And does it make you more nervous then up on the stage? I, and me, it makes me nervous very much. Though I, um, how to say, it is very good when you have some, uh, some soul close to you close to you, which knows you, and I know him. When you're not actually playing or teaching, what do you do in your spare time? I enjoy very much old cities, especially old Russian cities. I'm very fond of architecture at all. I like walking through the old cities. I saw a lot of them in our country. I think it is uh, very ple it's always very pleasant for me. And since you came to Dublin, have you had a chance to see anything of Dublin? Yes. From the, from the first day I, I went through the city, I catch cold immediately. <laughs> it was very cold. But the, the Dublin I liked very much. I liked very much. I, I entered into St. Patrick's Cathedral. It was very beautiful, very beautiful. And there have been an awful lot of changes in the Soviet Union in recent years. For a musician like you, has that given you opportunities for more contact internationally, or has it affected you at all? No, it helped very much, I think. Now we feel more free than it was. But we, uh, we have lost another thing, another confidence of future. It is a very unpleasant thing, perhaps it is... You understand, I feel uh, me, uh, the part of my country, it is my home. And uh, if my country is ill, I am ill. It is a very bad feeling. I want my country everything is the best, but I don't know how, what to begin with. So does it make it hard to concentrate on your musical career, to concentrate on your music yes. when you know there is yes. disruption? Yes, it is harder. Though we have more opportunity to go. So, for example, uh, nobody had opportunity to, to learn in, in other conservatories, in another country. Now a lot, a lot of Russian mus musicians, uh, young, for example in England, in America, would you like to study abroad? No. I'm teaching already in Moscow Conservatory. I'm very happy because it is a very interesting job. 
we have uh, with my professor we have the same class you understand and our students are very strong and very interesting i go almost every day in the conservatory with pleasure why should i go abroad next we hear pavel nesasian plays we have seventh piano sonata it's an enigmatic sort of piece rarely played but certainly this is one of the best performances i've ever heard of piece.